By the end of this video, you will be able to fade out an individual track or audio clip using FL Studio. Let's get started. So this is going to work on individual tracks or audio clips within FL Studio. And you can either fade in the track or fade out the track, either one will work. So you can see in this song that I'm working on, I've got two tracks here. First track is some MIDI and it, the second track is an audio clip. So let's start with the easiest one. Anytime that you have an audio clip or a sample that you've brought into FL Studio, you can go ahead and just click on the paint icon here. And then once you have paint icon selected, then you're going to hover over the audio clip and this triangle is going to appear on the left and the right. So if I want to fade this in, I just need to left click on that and then drag it to the place that I would like the fade to end. So this will start it with fading it from nothing to fading it, uh, you know, fading it in so that it'll be full volume by there. Um, and then you can also click on this media middle part to change the rate at which it fades in or out. So that will fade it in the what I just did there. If I'd like to fade out this track, I just go over to the left hand side again and left click and then drag it to where I would like that fade to start and then it'll fade out to the end of the track and that only uh, affects the audio clip here so if you have other things in this track it will not affect those but it will affect the audio clip so that's the easiest way and now FL Studio has this where you can fade in an audio clip very easily so now let's go to if you want to fade out an entire track and anything that you have in that track so I've got some MIDI here and you see I've got lots of uh, different things going on so I like to fade out this entire track what you want to first do is select the portion of the track that you want to fade out so basically I'm going to click on the selector icon here and then left click and then drag to the part that I would like to fade it out to and so now I've got that selected and I'm going to go to the mixer and if you need to see your mixer you can click on this icon here it will bring up your mixer or collapse the mixer and what I need to do is find track one, right? So I've got track one here, and then this is the volume knob for that track. So what I need to do is right click on the volume knob for track one, and then I'm gonna click on, left click on create automation clip. So make sure again that you have that on track one. This is the master over here. So if you do the master, that will fade out the entire song. So basically everything you have for all your tracks, but I just wanna fade out track one. So I, I went ahead and did that, and now you can see Whenever it brought up the automation clip in the playlist window here, it says chords volume number two. So chords is what I have in the first track. So one thing to keep in mind is if you have MIDI like I have here, you'll notice that I have several MIDI parts here. So I've got a chords, bass, lead, and drums. So I would actually need to do it for each one of those uh, parts of the MIDI. So even though I've got it in track one, I would have to do each one of those MIDI. So again, I could create an automation clip for each one of those and then do the same thing. So once I have the automation clip, I need to click on the paint icon and uh, three dots will appear. And to fade out, I'm going to left click on that dot on the right and then just drag it down. And so now the chords of my MIDI part in track one are going to be fading out as this is playing. So I'll go ahead and play this so you can hear how the chords are going to fade out. Uh, in order to play, just press the space bar or you can click this button here. Perfect. You can hear how the chords in track one were able to be faded out. Um, what I want to do now is, let's say, fade out the bass. I do the same thing. I would right click and then create automation clip and then go to the bass volume automation clip. Same thing. I would fade that out and so on and so forth. So now I've got that faded out. And again, if you need to drag these around, you can just left click here and drag and you can have it snap to the grid if you needed to. And I would repeat this process for the lead right click create automation clip same thing with the drums create automation clip now i've got my automation clips and then i would just drag this down and make sure whenever you're dragging you have the paint icon selected and now i've got a fade out for track one but track two will stay the same so this is a way that you can work with uh, different tracks and uh, fade out or fade in individual parts that you're working on in fl studio so you now know how to use Fade for individual audio clips or tracks that you're working on in FL Studio. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comment section below. I do my best to answer those. I have other FL Studio tutorials available. I'll put links to them around this video. If you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe. I thank you and we'll see you in the next video.